Hello and welcome to another episode of Cancer Education Research Institute, the first and only simplified multi-language global cancer non-profit organization. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain you the differences between surgical masks and N95 masks. <laughs> And before we get started, I want you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can publish more of these educational videos for free for you. Also, like this video, share this video with others, and comment also down below so that everybody can see these videos, everybody can get benefit out of them. Thanks so much, and without further ado, let's get started. Basically, there's a big difference between surgical masks and N95 masks. I personally prefer the N95 masks and I love them. Also, I deal a lot with patients and the hospitals for our patients. As you know, we have a lot of patients in our program, right? The Siri personalized patient program and we bring them to the hospital and we go through their treatments together. So that's why it's important for me to have the N95 mask. I also had them before the pandemic started. So I was lucky on that side. However, uh, it is not possible to purchase them anymore because as per the CDC guidelines, the public is not supposed to purchase those and leave them more to the medical professionals and people who are on the front line dealing with patients. So for the public, it is very common to use. Actually, they are only able to purchase the surgical masks and also other types of masks, which it's not the topic of this video because they are absolutely not recommendable, I would say. Absolutely, I would not recommend those because like these clothes and fabric and neoprene types of weird uh, masks, those are not replacing the surgical mask or N95 at all. So nothing can replace the N95, but at least the surgical mask has different types of uh, protection, which is much, much better than all the other types of masks that are currently out there or by people making themselves. Of course, it is always better to use a mask than not using a mask. Let's be clear on that. It is important to wear a mask. However, what I'm talking about today are the ones that, that protect you the most, okay, and which we would recommend to you to use, okay? Surgical masks, some have three layers and some have five layers. The five layers are being used actually in the surgery by the medical professionals, but the public, when they are talking about surgical masks, those are oftentimes three layers. We will have another video where I explain you how you can understand whether or not that three layer surgical mask that you purchase is actually in high quality. It's not fake, but it's actually a true high quality surgical mask. Okay, watch out for that video. I will link that video to this video as well. The surgical mask will protect only large particles, more of the splash of droplets of water or other hazardous liquids that comes towards your face. Those are not filtering the small particles in aerosols, which unfortunately the COVID-19 causing coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2 is a virus, is a small particle, is in the air droplets, those are more being filtered out 95% by the N95 masks. Again, regardless, it is important that we wear still the mask, the surgical mask. The surgical mask has a loose fitting compared to the N95 mask. Let me demonstrate that to you. Before we get our masks on, we will have to either wash our hands or we will have to use a hand sanitizer. I'm gonna use my hand sanitizer and disinfect my hands first, okay? Now, this is my surgical mask. And let me get my hair out of the way. 
Why did I not touch my hair? Because I just disinfected my hands, okay? So I put the surgical mask on. Okay. So this, and I will have another video where I explain how you can fix the surgical mask if they are too big for you, okay? This is often my problem because, say for example, if I have an N95 on and I go to the hospital, now the hospitals have different rules or new rules that you have to take it off and use a new one that they give to you. So, and often what they have is this type of surgical mask, which I don't like. Why? Because for me, it's not sealing my face as the N95. And for me, because I have a small face, this is too loose to me. Overall, in general, for everybody, the surgical mask has in general, regardless of your face type, if it's a big face or small face, it has a looser fitting compared to the N95. So it has a loose fitting compared to the N95, okay? So that's another difference. And, and again, for the surgical masks, there is less protection for the wearer to inhale the small particles in the aerosols compared to the N95, which N95, as I mentioned, filters out 95% of the small particles like viruses in the aerosol. And also there's a leakage from the sides, then the N95, okay? However, the surgical mask and the N95 both are protecting not only the wearer, the user of the mask, but also the other person from the user's respiratory emissions. It is protective both ways, so therefore, it is always recommend to use a surgical mask. I would not recommend to use a handmade or a cloth or fabric or other types of strange masks because those do not provide the protection, the layer of protection that the surgical masks have. I'll leave it at that. I hope this was helpful. Again, watch the other videos where I explain whether or not these surgical masks are high quality and how you can test them. The other video will be if you have a small face like mine and if these surgical masks are too big for you on the sides and are not fitting well, then I will show you how you can adjust those so that they have a better fitting especially on the sides so that they are more close to your face and have least leaking as possible, okay? And please also watch the other video where I simplify and explain you two studies published back in March 2020 about the stability of coronavirus on surfaces. A very important video. I highly encourage you to watch that, okay? So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Wear your mask, a surgical mask, okay? And also use social distancing if you can, more than six feet, okay? Thanks for watching. This video was made possible by viewers and supporters like you. If you like this video, give us a big like and you can also support us by watching our other videos right here, by subscribing to our YouTube channel down here, and by donating to our nonprofit organization on our website right here. 
Thanks again for watching. I will see you next episode. Be healthy, be happy, and take care.